This is a website that I built in Webflow a few videos ago and what we're gonna do in this episode is show you how we can use five different plugins and extensions to increase the capability of Webflow. Stay till the end of the video to see what my favorite extension is for Webflow and how it can help you in your workflow. So the very first extension that we're gonna cover here is FN Suite. Now, if you are new to Webflow, then FN Suite will be new to you as well. FN Suite is essentially an extension of the capabilities of Webflow. And this extension goes right into the Webflow dashboard right here. So we have a lot of capabilities that are then included within the actual frame of Webflow. So I'm gonna go ahead and give a brief overview because there's so many things inside FN Suite that it will take me an entire video on its own to go over it. So we'll go over some candies, client first, and then attributes, and we'll have more than enough. So when we click on candies, we have a few things right in front of us that already improve the workflow of Webflow. So first things first, we have 301 bulk redirects. We've got breakpoints, color swatch reorder, cookie consent, CSS styles reorder, custom code, interactions reorder. So we have a lot of capabilities that are added to Webflow and to our, our workflow and how we build websites that we just don't have natively within Webflow. And to give an example here, I'm going to go into the breakpoints and this is a great example of how capable FN Suite is. So usually within Webflow, you aren't allowed or you can't delete these extra breakpoints. If I try to click it somehow, there's just there's just no way that I can actually click it. Even if I go into here and I go into the settings, well, then there's no actual way to delete it. But if I go into FN Suite, go to candies, I go to the breakpoints, and then I can now select which breakpoint I'd like to remove. So maybe I don't like the top one. Go ahead and remove that one. I'm FN ready. And just like that will have removed that breakpoint. And if I want to, I can go ahead and add that one again. So that is one of the capabilities. Let's go over a few more. So in the next tab over here in client first, we have the ability to add core page structures and different ways of adding pieces of a page. To explain that in a little bit more detail, FN Suite essentially has a structure called client first, and this structure allows you to build websites that are very easy to understand, especially when you're working with a team and when you're also working with a client. That's why it's called client first. And what you can do here is start adding the structure to build that. So you don't have to go into any clonable, you don't have to do any of that. It's directly within the Webflow dashboard. There's a few other sections here, like adding a space system, the fluid design generator, and also the pixel to REM calculator. Now, this one is extremely, extremely powerful because personally, when I first figured out REMs and how to convert them to pixels to RAM, I was going into different websites and typing in pixel to REM converter. Well, this extension does that for you in itself. So if I just want to click on any of these pixels or REMs, we'll see that I can go ahead and copy that REM and then paste it back into the image that I'm working on. So maybe I want the height to be 16 REM. Well, then that's the very easy way to do that. And a cool thing about that is that, okay, that use case isn't really the best one for this case. But if I have, for example, a height here of 400 pixels, okay? And I wanna convert this pixels right here into REM. Then I go into client first, I go into pixels to REM, and I type in 400, okay? Well then here we see that it should be 25 REMs and that will allow us to convert that design into REM, which will then be easier to scale and it'll be a much better built website. Next up is attributes. Now attributes could have its entire own video, but in a nutshell, attributes is how you can expand the capabilities of your website. And in a previous video, I also mentioned how FN Suite, you could create filters and you could add a huge capability to your CMS collection. Well, this is exactly how you do it. You go into the CMS filter tab and you can also check it out on their website and you see exactly how you can implement that onto your CMS collection. And once you can do that, and once you have that set up, now your website can have a CMS filtering system, which it wouldn't have natively in Webflow. So that is just absolutely incredible. Next up is going to be ElfSite. Now ElfSite is a website where you have widgets for Webflow. Now you can call these widgets, plugins, extensions, whatever you want to call them, but we can essentially add capabilities to Webflow that we wouldn't have natively. So one example here is a very popular Instagram feed. Now, sometimes in websites, you'll have a feed of Instagram posts or Twitter posts or something along the lines of that, that will show all the most recent images sent over by users or from your own posts. And this is a very easy way to do that because natively Webflow doesn't allow it. So, and a very easy way to do this is if I want to go ahead and create the widget, I go ahead and click that. It takes me to the bottom and now I can see a few different versions of what I can install into my project. So if I want to go ahead and move forward with the slider here, just a very easy Instagram slider. So you can kind of preview how that's going to look like on your page. Okay. I'm happy with this one. Continue with this template. Okay. I can plug in whichever content or account I want. I can also change in the layout, the slider, I can change it to be a tile, I can expand the rows, I can essentially change everything I want it to be. 
And then when you're ready to go ahead and install that, all you need to do is obviously sign up to Elfsight and paste it directly into your project. And that is exactly how you do that. It's very, very simple. There are no extra steps required. It's just a simple copy and paste directly onto your project. Elfsight has a ton of different widgets and a very popular one as well is the WhatsApp chat. I'll leave a link to all the links I'm talking about in the description so you guys can check out Elfsight and see all the different widgets that they have. Another very popular one is going to be the consent form for cookies and also contact form. You have individual chat bubbles on the right hand corner of your website that you can then connect to WhatsApp or a different email service. And so this is all possible thanks to Elfsight. Another very, very powerful example of widgets and plugins is going to be Jetboost. Now Jetboost is very similar to Elfsight, but it's more dedicated for Webflow and this very small niche no code community. Some product examples that they have here is similar to the FN Suite attributes. We have dynamic filtering, we have CMS item favoriting, so if you want to like this one or if you want to favorite it, that's how you would do that. We have real-time on-page search, which you can also do with attributes. So Jetboost and FN Suite attributes are very similar in their capabilities, but personally, I do think that FN Suite is more capable, they have more options, and they're also a much bigger player in the game. Now, that's not to say that Jetboost doesn't have a lot of great products and capabilities, but in the future, who knows who's gonna be the king of the space, but for now, I think that FN Suite is a great option as well. But if you wanna go ahead and take a look into the Jetboost filtering system and all their different products, well then you can also do that. Also keep in mind that FN Suite is free for the majority of their projects and Jetboost is not, so keep that one in mind. Now the next three that we're going to cover is going to be different. So the first thing I want to do is showcase my favorite plugin that I think is incredible for Webflow and I think that you guys are really going to enjoy this one. And then the last two you can see up here already and I've talked about them before on the channel so I'll leave them last. So I want to focus first on the next one that I think is going to be revolutionary or already is revolutionary for Webflow. So Flowbase is a great plugin that you can have right now natively within your Webflow dashboard just like you have with FN Suite. And in a nutshell what Flowbase allows you to do is have a UI component system natively or natively inside of Webflow. So you can see here with this demonstration what you can do. You can essentially have a UI system or their individual components, copy it to your clipboard and paste it directly within your Webflow project. So there's no external website going on. You have a system that lives inside of your Webflow space. And that is something to really look into because this can speed up a lot of your workflow and it also helps you with design. If you need help with design and scaling and making it responsive, this can really help you get there. So once you have the Flowbase extension installed, you, you'll get this logo just as you have with the FNC suite and then you have a few different sections so you've got components the flow ui system icon sets tool bit, and then guides so we'll go into components first go into all components and then i'll click on the free so Flowbase is actually a freemium product so you have to pay for the premium version but there's also free assets and there's not many but you can actually see what it's like and you can start to experiment with the product so if I go ahead and check out maybe one of the bottom ones here, I can go ahead and copy this one to clipboard. Maybe it's a testimonial page or maybe there's different people on my team. I can go ahead and click here, click on the body and I am doing command V now. So once that's pasted, it's now within my project. Okay, there goes that. And maybe I need to add a footer as well. So I'll copy this one to clipboard, go back to here, make sure that I'm clicking on the body, command V. And now I have a footer. So this lives directly within the Webflow dashboard, within the designer of Webflow. So this is no external site. This lives directly in here. Now, one thing I do want to keep in mind with the system is that it doesn't work the best in terms of responsiveness. So if we go all the way down to mobile, we see exactly what I mean. So that is a little bit on you to make sure that you're building it the right way and you need to double check it, but it'll get you 90% of the way there. If we go back into the breakpoints here and we can see the different components that they have. So they also have a flow UI system. So similar to other competitors like Reloom, they have their own system, they have their own nav bars, their own component system. Everything is built directly within Webflow. Now, lastly, within Flowbase, there's also the icon sets. So icon sets are always in demand, right? People always wanna know what's the best icon set, how is it better than the other one? I actually made a video about that. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check that one out, I'll leave it up there for you guys. But icon sets also live within Flowbase. So to give you an example, I'll click on this first one here, and we can see that it's now been added to the clipboard. So if I want to go ahead and add it anywhere I need to. I'll just add into the body so we can see where it is and we can see how that looks like. So that's directly within Webflow. I can copy it, paste it into my project, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So this is one of the best 
plugin extensions that exist right now for Webflow. I'm sure there's going to be many competitors in the future. And I also think that there's a lot to be done still within the software. So I'm not saying that it's the best in the world, but I do think that it is great for the majority of the people. Last two extensions and plugins that I want to cover here is going to be Zapier and also Airtable. So Zapier is essentially an automation tool. And what Zapier will allow you to do is extend the capability of Webflow again. So within Zapier and Airtable, we can then communicate between the two and talk to Webflow. What Airtable is, is an Excel sheet, if you can think about it like that, that can connect directly to Webflow. So if you have a huge CMS list with over 10,000 items, you want to be able to host that somewhere. Well, that somewhere happens to be Airtable. And how would you connect Airtable directly with Webflow? Well, there's two different ways. Number one is going to be Zapier. And number two is going to be an FN Suite product called Noble. Now, simply put is Noble is an extension or a connector that can communicate between Airtable and Webflow. So you don't necessarily need Zapier or another third party app. Airtable and Noble do that for you. But within Zapier, you have a lot more capability just than Noble. Noble is directly specific for Airtable and Webflow. If I wanted to automate, say for example, me creating a new blog post or me uploading a new video, which will then connect it to Twitter and then Twitter will send it to Facebook and then that can all be done automatically within Zapier. But Zapier isn't necessarily a Webflow product, but it can help automate a lot of things within Webflow, which is why I'm including it in this video and I'm including it last because it is a little bit of a of a not directly related, but it still is kind of related. So in conclusion, we have FN Suite with their candies, client first attributes. We have Flowbase with their components. We have Elfsight with their various widgets, same as Jetboost, which is kind of similar to FN Suite. And then we've got Zapier, Airtable, and also Noble to connect the two. So if you guys enjoy this video, then please do let me know down below because it does help the channel. Also like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also let me know what you guys want to see in the next video regarding either Webflow or no code or Figma even. Just let me know what you guys want to see because I always do like to know. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.